Hey, this is Jeff Wick, editor of the Fayette County Record newspaper. Hot off the presses, we've got the first copy, the new edition of the uh, uh, Fayette County Record, here at the tasting room for Dime Box Distillery. We're in Giddings, gone just over the uh, county line at uh, 235 West Railroad Row. Beautifully restored railroad depot here. As always, we've got Andy Balin. Uh, I think inside Poncho House is somewhere. Both those guys are uh, just now getting over their hangovers from a long July 4th weekend. Um, but uh, we're going to send them right back into it here at this uh, uh, tasting room. So uh, let's go find proprietor uh, Michael Lydell and uh, see if he can tell us a little about this amazing uh, uh, tasting room that's uh, just opened in getting. Oh, there they are, Michael Lydell. Oh, you've made quite a dent in that bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and still sitting. We have, we have a couple people watching already. But Michael, this is the first copy of the new edition of the Fayette County Record. You're the first person to get your hands on that. Fantastic. Um, thanks so much for having us. I think uh, we will talk with you a little bit about the headlines in the new edition of the paper and then go into uh, this wonderful tasting room you've opened here. Uh, just an amazing place. Can't wait to learn more about it. Hey, I want to tell y'all the comment that just came across said, nice lids. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, thanks so much for Michael. We've got uh, got some uh, nice swag here from uh, Dime Box Distillery. Poncho, that's a good looking hat. Doby Gillis. That, I don't even know what I that means. Put it right over your head. I, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, you want to tell Michael uh, some of the things sure. that he and other readers can find in the new edition of the record? Well, it's, uh, it was a big 4th of July weekend, and we had a lot of coverage from all over the county. Uh, round top festivities. Uh, I was over at the picnic in St. John on Thursday um, where I ate one of, the, one of those great plates of fried chicken and stew. Um, <clears throat> uh, John Sharp gave a talk over at the Round Top uh, 4th of July celebration. Was, we we're also at the uh, Muldoon uh, 4th of July parade Thursday morning. Here's some photos of uh, County Judge Joe Weber riding a farm all tractor in the Round Top Parade. Um, so lots of 4th of July coverage. Also, uh, over in Schulenburg, I have a story about uh, uh, Schulenburg still hanging on to their city garbage service, while a lot of, lot of, lot of towns around here have gone with uh, third-party contractors for garbage service. Uh, Schulenburg is still doing their own, and um, they're just uh, s uh, spending a lot of money on uh, some new trucks or a new truck and a big fleet of uh, 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 garbage containers for all the residents. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we got a <coughs> July 4th coverage in the paper. Poncho, you were over at the uh, parade, big parade in Round Top, right? That's right. I got hit by a piece of chocolate that had melted already. <laughs> I call it a little chocolate bomb. <laughs> I'm never parade. going to the Round Top Parade again, by the way. <laughs> because uh, candy, you were up and, go, uh, and all the little children, I get scared because they <laughs> run out there to get the candy and they just almost get run over by a tractor or a truck. Or <laughs> and they're a lot quicker than you are. They probably keep you from, from getting the, the haul that you probably want to. Well, I got a piece. It hit me in the head. My second best straw hat. <laughs> but you got, a, you got new headwear now, though, yeah. thanks to Mike. <laughs> And uh, also, I uh, know Jeff and Poncho were both out at the Dubina picnic on Sunday. Yeah. Um, got a nice photo there of the auction. Uh, yeah, if you've never been out to Dubina, I mean, just the church grounds are beautiful. That, uh, this photo really kind of illustrates one of the beautiful oak trees uh, out there. Um, well, a lot of yeah, yeah, great polka music out there. <coughs> but um, the other, the oh, go ahead. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention is uh, Mr. Otto Fuchs from... Uh, 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 from from Carmine, right? Correct. Uh, Lagrange, he, uh, Lagrange native, but now he's in Carmine. Right, but uh, he had uh, they honored him over there at the uh, uh, American Legion post for seventy five years of continuous membership, and uh, I really enjoyed reading this article. I had no idea that Mr. Fuchs was present during the liberation of the Dachau um, concentration camp during World War Two. I mean, incredible story, man. <coughs> man from right here in Fayette County uh, uh, fought World War Two, and just a part of history. From back then. You've been doing anything for 75 years, Poncho? <coughs> Sleeping. <laughs> hey, I have two comments. One person said, yes, Dobie Gillis. 
All right. <laughs> okay, resonating with some of the viewers out there. Fantastic. But yeah, Michael, uh, yeah, you had a big July 4th here at the tasting room too, right? We did. We had uh, Annie, Annie Ross from uh, Schulenburg here playing with her, uh, her bass player and her guitarist. And we had a good, good turnout, probably 75 people total. But uh, that was our first event. We have been operating here since the spring. And we opened this tasting room, sort of a soft opening in May. And uh, you can come here and try the, uh, the products that we bottled so far, which are two bourbons, and all tastings are complimentary. We also have uh, signature cocktails from time to time, and we have some barware and some other gifts. So, uh, yeah, well, and by. kind of behind you there, uh, you've uh, got some of the things on display that you, uh, you serve here, right? Tell us Correct. a little bit about what uh, people can get. Correct. We have a, a, a bourbon uh, branded Sixth Street, which is a. Uh, it's uh, designed for creative personalities with creative personalities in mind, and it's a tribute to Texas music. And uh, we've got them displayed up there. They have a, a stylized guitar-shaped bottle. Um, we have uh, we bottled a four-year-old and a ten-year-old so far. You're welcome to try that. And we also have commemorative bottles for sale. Ten-year-old is fifty percent alcohol, or is it sixty? Fifty percent alcohol. Fifty percent. Both are both are hundred proof. Uh, traditional bourbons. Oh, they're both 50% alcohol. Correct, correct. So that's 25% more than you get in a, an 80 proof bottle. <laughs> now, Pancho, you, you've gotten to sample some of this stuff, uh, uh, or quite a bit of it, judging by that bottle so far. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes like whiskey. That's awesome. Could you, yeah, I'd love to try some. Uh, okay. Uh, now, I don't think Andy, uh, Andy's weekend was too tough. I don't think he's no, interested I'll, in trying I'll, any. I'll, I'll, I'm just joking. I'll, I'll try it <laughs> three or four times. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just an amazing aroma. How would you, how would you describe this, uh, Michael? It's a, it's kind of, it's a full, uh, it's kind of a robust uh, bourbon with a lot of grain flavor. Uh, full body. It's uh, non-chill filtered, so you have a lot of. Uh, it's a creamier uh, bourbon than than, it is. Uh, than a lot of them. I like and the way you put uh, that creamier up, definitely get that sense right away. If you uh, if you add a couple drops of distilled water, you'll you'll get the full aromas. And, right. Yeah. Uh, explain this to us. Um, this is this is a great little kind of display so you've got here, and um, yeah. So it's there. If uh, it's a hundred proof. Bourbon. So if it's uh, too hot for you, you can use the water to uh, to bring down the proof, or if you'd like to just add the water to get the full uh, break the surface tension, get the full uh, aromas. You can do that as well. Bourbon and branch. <coughs> That's interesting how that changed the flavor. Yeah. It goes well with the Robert O. King music you have playing on the radio. <laughs> it does, it does. And now this, this beautifully restored building uh, you're in here. Tell us a little bit about this old depot. So uh, this is an old freight depot and it dates back to uh, the 1890s, I understand. And it, it was moved here from the other side of Highway 77 at, at one point. Yeah. But it, in its history, it's been a, a feed store and it's been a train museum in addition to being its original purpose as a uh, uh, a freight station. So. Wow. And how long have you been in here? And, and what was the process of uh, getting this we place leased to this it, We leased the, the building from the city of Giddings last year, okay. 2018, and uh, we've been operating since spring. And the tasting room kind of opened quietly in May, mm. so not not too long. Yeah, yeah. we've got most of our uh, shakedown issues worked <laughs> out. So. So you say a tasting room? People come in here and buy shots of whiskey. Uh, no, not really. They come in here, we do complimentary tastings uh, of, of products that we've bottled, but they can buy they can buy a full glass of whiskey if they like, or, uh, or a cocktail. And uh, they're also allowed to buy uh, commemorative bottles. Um, so and do you know what bourbon and branch means? No, what does that mean, Pancho? I didn't think you did. <coughs> bourbon and branch water. Bourbon and water. Okay. Water out of the branch. You know? Like a branch of a creek or a river? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bourbon and branch. You with me now? I got you. Bourbon <laughs> and branch. Cindy Hesselmeyer wants to know what your hours are. 
We're open, our regular hours are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from noon till six. But uh, other days of the week when we're here, we'll, we'll be open as well. So it's always worth stopping by, even if it's not one of our regular days. And you've got a big flag that you put outside when y'all are open? Correct. And the, uh, the actual address here is? It's 235 West Railroad Row, which is right of way. Mm, okay. Getting us Texas. And we're just off of 290, what, not even a block? Uh, Correct. We're, uh, we're about a block and a half from the intersection of 290 and 77. Mm. So are y'all going to try the other variety as well? That was okay. a ten, this is the 10 year. Yeah, that was the 10 year okay. uh, for the uh, four year old for you. Are you pouring out of the vodka you make? This is the uh, four year old whiskey. No, not, yet. not yet. You're not, you're not pouring that yet? Not yet, no. We'll have to come back, Poncho. And so we, we see that you can see the difference there on the shelf mm -hmm. between the 10 and the 4. And, and before we got on camera, Michael, you were telling us a little bit about that aging process and, and kind of how all that works. Um, you know, let people uh, know a little more about that. Yeah, so the bourbons by law have to be aged in new charred oak barrels. And uh, as time goes on, the grain flavors mellow out in the barrel. So the older whiskey, the older bourbons are going to be more to the, gra uh, to the barrel barrel side in terms mm. of flavor and less so to the grain side. Mm. So the four, four year old has, uh, has more grain flavor and the uh, 10 year old has a lot more barrel flavor, which is, uh, you'll, you'll see up there, you'll see the difference <coughs> with the suspended char in the bottle. Mm. The 10 year old is much okay, darker whiskey. I got in a little early. <laughs> <laughs> Poncho, it's taking a toll, that, that full bottle <laughs> on Poncho. <please. laughs> And so Dime Box Distillery, obviously Dime Box just outside of uh, Giddings there. Talk about the, the name. Uh, do you all have a location there? Or yeah, our, our offices are in okay. Dime Box, and initially we were going to set up our distillery in the town of New Dime Box, or mm. where people know as Dime Box. And uh, we could not find uh, suitable real estate there, so we looked and looked and looked <laughs> and looked. It has been a several year process. and. Uh, the city of Giddings was kind enough to suggest that we could lease this place. Mm. So. This is a great location. Yeah, we couldn't have, couldn't have asked for a more fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the building has a lot of character, and um, we're, uh, we, a lot has been done to it before we leased it, and we've done some work to it ourselves. Mm. So. What about your background? How um, how'd you get involved in, in uh, spirits? Uh, it's always been an interest of mine. Um, I used to be an advertising designer, had my own design and marketing firm, yeah. and we had uh, wine and spirits clients, and uh, I sort of got interested in the business that way, but I've always, my, my brother is my partner, we've always been uh, American whiskey lovers, mm. so um, back when we started our business in 2012, there weren't a whole lot of Texas distilleries, and we thought Texas needed more, and a lot of people think Texas <laughs> needs more. But, um, and it's, Texas has a great spirits industry going. Even uh, in this area, there are other distilleries that have recently uh, opened. Some, some have been in business for several, several years. But um, um, we were kind of inspired by an old, uh, an old saloon building up in Dime Box that we mm. thought would make a perfect micro distillery. But we were una unable to, to make that work. Mm. So. And soon you'll be bringing in the distillery stuff here. Correct, correct. We're, uh, we have the bottling facility in this building, and uh, we hope before too long we'll have the full <coughs> distilling. Wow. wow. And so then the, the aging will actually be done on site here, too? Yes. Wow. Yes. wow. David Ramjohn, there's a distillery in Giddings. Well, it's coming. It's uh, The tasting room is here now. So explain uh, some of those people who didn't hear the first part. Right, right, yeah. You just kind of uh, maybe reiterate the, uh, let people know kind of the, that the tasting room's here and then kind of what's coming. Yeah, the tasting room's here. We also, uh, we also finish and bottle uh, our bourbon here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the bottling is done here. It oh, is okay. done here. Wow. Right. 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 And it's a very pretty bottle. I love it. <coughs> what about these? What do you call these? Those are our, our tasting mats. 
Little leather tasty mats. Uh, they were made by an offender at Huntsville Prison. They're hair really? on cowhide, and they—they, they, uh, I think they turned out very well. But uh, just you get, to analyze, you you, making these? Pardon? Did yeah, I—I yeah, I paid them well. Yeah. <laughs> that I don't know how the money is split. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, at Huntsville. But, uh, that gives me something to do. And uh, so, if somebody's interested in. Uh, you know, buying a bottle, do y'all do uh, mail order? Do you have a uh, website, we, Facebook we, page, things like uh, that? We have a Facebook page and we have a website, but we're not allowed to sell uh, uh, through the mail. So. Oh, okay. So if somebody wants to get a bottle, so they, we're, they've we're, got to come yeah, here. We're in uh, uh, liquor stores throughout Texas and we're getting into uh, bars. More recently, we've been pushing for on-premise accounts. Wow, okay. Um, and... Uh, we're we're solely in Texas right now, but uh, mm. we have pretty pretty good coverage, so they should be able to find it at their favorite liquor store. Yeah, where are some places that they could, uh, you know, locally if they can't make it here to Giddings, um, some places um, around that they could. Uh, yeah, well, in Giddings, in Giddings, we have a liquor depot uh, that that carries it. Um, I understand Stoney's carries it from time to time. Mm. Um, uh, throughout the state, we're in uh, the Specs chain, the to Total Wine and More oh, chain, yeah. uh, Gabriel's. Um, in a, a, a number of uh, independent stores. So. What about in LaGrange? Do you have a place in LaGrange? Yes. Yes. Um, we have two, LG Spirits and Papa Tom. Yeah, we're at LG Spirits, and uh, we've been there for about uh, a year. So. Wow. wow. David Ram John says, we have the best jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is I mean, just truly amazing. What a great addition to Giddings this has been. Are, are you a native of uh, this area? No, I've, I've been uh, in Dime Box uh, on and off since for about 10 years. Mm. Uh, I've been living up there for about five. How many people live there? Yeah. I, I'm not sure, but I think it's around 200. That's yeah. yeah, small. Yeah. Big town. Yeah. It's about, I think, 18, <coughs> 18 miles north of here. <coughs> of course, Michael um, and uh, Dime Box Distillery uh, will be featured in the Vine and Sign, the upcoming glossy uh, finer foods and uh, finer drink magazine that's coming out later this year, published by the Fayette County Records, so you can learn more about them uh, there as well. Any other, you know, I know y'all had the big uh, July 4th event here. Any other, uh, uh, you know, kind of live music or, or big events uh, y'all have coming uh, up, Michael? None, none that are on the calendar mm. yet, but we're working, uh, we're working with some... Uh, with a, a Bloody Mary mixed company out of Austin, we want to have a, a Bloody Mary event, oh, cool. wow. and uh, that that would be soon. And we're also uh, planning a, a a grand opening, but mm. uh, don't have the de details nailed down on yeah. that. Too. That's awesome. That's awesome. And of course, uh, there's that uh, uh, snow cone machine back there that you mentioned to us earlier that uh, y'all used to make some uh, was it mint julep snow cones on the July? We did. On July we did. We had mint julep <laughs> snow cones yeah, with that's um, amazing. Yeah, basically a simple recipe. It's very good. Uh, Fresh, fresh mint muddled and then uh, uh, equal parts bourbon and simple syrup and uh, shaved ice. Wow, perfect way to fight off the heat on a, yeah. <laughs> on a so summer's it's a day. Hot, it's a good hot weather bourbon drink. So. And Poncho's licking his lips over there. I'm just looking for a place to lie down. There might be. Well, Michael, this has just been tremendous. And uh, yeah, what an what a eye opener this is. Who would have thought a place like this in, in Giddings, Texas? amazing and uh, so glad you, you shared it with our viewers and uh, you'll be sharing it with our readers in uh, the Vine and Stein now uh, as, as uh, you know Lee and Fayette County continue to just become kind of a hotbed of, of really um, tasteful things. Uh, yeah there, there's a lot going on in, in Giddings. There's a lot uh, changing. I think we're in a, a good spot. And the depot complex will get more and more activity. Mm. Yeah. I invite everybody to come out and visit. You can take us out, Ian? Sure thing. Well, uh, we're not we're not linked to your your Facebook page right right now, but we will be linking to your page in this video. So just, uh, just stay tuned, and we'll put that link on there so people can find your page. Uh, you can always find us at uh, FayetteCountyRecord.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Um, thanks so much for watching, and thanks for reading the paper. <laughs>